The iPhone 14 series is here and it's time to see how well the speakers handle. So welcome to another speaker test. I've got the iPhone 14, 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max. I'm gonna see how well the speakers stack up against each other as well as against the Galaxy S22 Ultra and maybe fair or unfairly, uh, the Galaxy Z Fold 4. Now we know Apple has done a really good job with their speakers in the past. And we do know that uh, devices like the S22 Ultra have some really solid speakers, as well as the Z Fold 4, which have two bottom firing speakers there. So that might be the unfair advantage. But what I'm gonna do in this video is play a couple of clips for you. I'll be playing some music, then we'll switch over to some gameplay, and then we'll move over to uh, some vocals. And we'll decide which one is actually the best and how they stack up. So. Let's listen to some music.
Okay, that was a lot of audio listening, but I think we have a very good consensus here. And I have to say, first off, I think Apple has done a fantastic job with the speakers on the total iPhone 14 range. The iPhone 14 itself sounded really good, all the way to the iPhone 14 Pro Max, which sounded probably one of my best out of all of them. Now, I was really disappointed with the S22 Ultra because it didn't stack up as well as I would have liked across the board. And of course, the Z Fold 4 held its own, even better in some instances. So, which would I pick as a winner? I think my two favorites here are the iPhone 14 Pro Max and the Z Fold 4. Z Fold 4 did a really good job with the vocals and, um, of course, cert certain aspects of gaming, while the iPhone 14 Pro Max just sounded more robust overall with that. Now, some of you are probably asking, did I turn on Adobe um, Atmos for the S22 Ultra and Z Fold 4? I definitely did that, and those are the results. So what do you guys think? Which do you think is better in terms of speaker audio? And if you guys are looking for gaming, stay tuned. We'll have a gaming video, you can go check that out. And if you just picked up an iPhone 14 Pro Max and you wanna to switch to an eSIM, well, I've got a video for you. So definitely go check that out and see how you can set up your iPhone 14, 14 Pro Max or 14 Pro right now.